So what's going on guys? I just recently got back from my trip from Spain. I had a wonderful time over there and I got to fly in some pretty amazing places. So I highly recommend if you ever get a chance, definitely check it out. But now that I'm back home, I was greeted with the packets from my friends over at Team Motor. They sent me their new Pacer V3 motors. These are 2207, 2080 KVs. I'm really excited about these because as you already know, I enjoy flying with high KV motors on 6S. I especially like pairing them with some nice, really juicy props. They also sent me their new iteration of their Spang prop. This is a 49436 prop. So it's a little bit more pitchy than their previous prop that they had before, which I also thought was pretty great. Um, but I'm really excited to see how these feel and to give them a fly today. I'm gonna be flying all weekend and checking out some different spots and just seeing how I feel about the combination. Um, I already did get a chance to fly this last night after I installed them and made sure it worked correctly and then did a little quick tune. And I have to say that these are really smooth motors and they are very powerful. So I'm very excited to see what I can do today. But I went ahead and threw them on my Apex 5 inch. This particular Apex already had the, this is the T-Motor HDF7 stack um, with the Pro 2 55 amp ESC. So this is pretty much an entire T-Motor build. Pretty excited about that. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see what we can do with this today. So without further ado, let's do some flying.
So to wrap up the end of the video, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a huge fan of this combination. I think T-Motors' new Pacer V3 motors, specifically the 2207-2080 KV, is not only exceptionally great for my style, but I think anybody out there who's wanting to try a slightly higher KV, get a little more juicy, have a little bit more of a responsive, technical type feeling quad, um, I would highly suggest you try out this combination. Uh, you match it, you pair it with the new T-Motor P49436 props like this, um, you're gonna get an incredibly responsive quad. You might give up a little bit in efficiency as far as what you're used to flying a pack for, maybe like five minutes. Um, you'll probably get closer to around three, three and a half minutes, depending on how hard you fly. Considering the fact that this build quality of these motors is what it is, especially the durability is also exceptionally well. I actually crashed in a tree about 50 feet in the air and I turtle motored out of it. And I tried my best to catch it, but I didn't quite catch it. Ended up smashing into the pavement right on the motor bell. And it's still working perfectly fine. So that was pretty awesome as far as durability test goes. But you can go out and buy these motors for like $24, and that's cheaper than some of the other higher-end premium motors that you'll find um, and get what I feel is pretty darn near equivalent performance out of them. So, yeah, for sure, check them out and give it a shot. So if you do plan on building your own Apex 5-inch, particularly with the T-Motor Pacer V3 motors, um, the 2207s, and then especially if you're using the T-Motor stack, this is the F7 HD stack, uh, with the 55 amp ESC. Let me know uh, if you'd like to try out my particular tune and settings on Betaflight 4.3. I'll send you over my CLI dump so you can give that a shot and see what you think. But with that, I hope you guys have an absolute blast going out there and flying and uh, take it easy.